Hey guys, how's it going? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, I'm getting ready to do you guys a reading for the full, sorry, not full moon, new moon that is going to be in the skies November 14th. So make sure that you check a sort of moon calendar in your area to see when that is going to be exposed for you guys. It's November 14th in my region. And I actually have a moon calendar set to my favorites uh, on my iPhone. Anyway, so new moon is when uh, there is no reflection off the moon. It is completely darkened, but you can still see it. You can still see the moon no matter what phase it's in, but it, it will have a different sort of pull on us humans and everything around us. So we're going to look at this reading that I have and it's going to be four cards. So I'm going to use the Deviant Moon as foundation cards and I'm going to also use the Witch's Tarot to see if we need any clarification on the cards I pull. Um, so this is going to be a really interesting time for you. So anyway, I'm just going to get right into the reading because some days I'm, I'm not a very good talk show host. So I'll jump right in. And what we're going to do is look at what is emerging within you. You know, you could feel a different kind of energy and have different facets of yourself available on different days. So we'll tap into that. And this is a reading for all zodiac signs. And it's a general reading. So I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to use the Deviant Moon and we're going to look at what is emerging within you as we move into this moon cycle. Amazing card here. So we have the Empress. The Empress, she's kind of the queen of birthing new opportunities into your life. Many of you, um, I'm being guided to tell you if you've been trying to increase your family, there could be an opportunity for you guys to actually bring that child into your life. Um, through a variety of different ways. You know, there could be an adoption, there could be a foster situation, you could actually um, become uh, expectant, like pregnant. Um, also new opportunities coming in for you guys. It, it feels like you guys are gonna be moving a little bit ahead of where you are, putting in a little bit more forethought. You can see that this particular Empress, she's sitting on a chessboard. So being able to see moves and moves ahead of you, kind of like that movie Limitless, like your brain could become, um, I'm getting the word unhinged, but I'm not sure, hold on. I'm not sure if that's the right word for you, but it's going to become unblocked so that you can see things coming ahead of you. And there's also some sort of a deep respect and admiration for the journey that you have been through. I know a lot of people feel shame or, you know, other sort of negative emotion about things that they've done or said or been through. Um, you know, and there's no need for that. It's all part of your journey. So welcoming in any sort of experience and understanding that you learned something from that. And add to that that you could you could have played a part in somebody else's karmic wheel. You know, sometimes you're just there to help other people out on the journey and it might not have meant anything to you, but it meant the world to somebody else. So keep that in mind too. And I'm gonna clarify that card out with the um, Witch's Tarot. Very interesting that we've got the Seven of Swords following up here. So this is like, <sighs> I'm getting the sense that some of you may have escaped something just by the skin of your teeth. You could have come into, you know, a late realization that what you were doing was not helpful for you. This particular Seven of Swords energy just, he feels like so sneaky. I don't even really like having this card in my hands because it feels like a really negative undertone. So you should be able to release that and just understand it was part of your journey. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, you know, if you're not able to take pride in every single thing that you've done, that's okay. Just accept it. It happened. It's over. Um, and it, it's giving you some sort of knowledge or foundation for the moves that you have to make forward. So you should be feeling like almost a blossoming. Like you could wake up one morning and feel like, oh, okay, I feel like a little bit more cracked open, a little bit more able to access, you know, that deep knowledge that you've learned not only in this lifetime, but multiple lifetimes before that. 
Um, I'm seeing for some of you a new guardian angel coming into your life, you know, where you could be ready to access a higher realm of reality for yourself and the guardian angel is going to go, oh, okay, well, they're finally ready for me, so I'm going to go in and start helping. So you might want to do a guardian angel meditation just to invite them in a little bit closer so that you can understand their messages. So um, the next card I'm going to look at is what do you wish to grow? And again, this could be on a subconscious level or you could start to realize it at some point after the reading if you're not already aware of it. I'm just being guided to show you guys the bottom of the deck and take that card. And just as I was talking about guardian angels and your ancestors and stuff like that, I just started to get a ringing in my left ear. Um, and some of you could experience that sort of high-pitched intensity in one or both of your ears. And to me, that's just a sign that your angels are really close. So if you get that, um, really understand. So we have the strength card here, and this is such a weird, okay, first of all, it's a weird deck, but this is a really weird card. And this is, this is the character looking deep within something. And again, I feel like you guys have narrowly, narrowly escaped something um, that could have been highly destructive for you if you had carried on down that path. So you're showing incredible strength to look at, like really realigning yourself with the future that you envision for yourself. And again, this guardian angel is gonna come in and, and probably finally just like, whew, they finally accomplished that. The wheel finally turned for you and you're ready to access a better, stronger life for yourself. And that strength card is really going to help you understand that there's nothing to be ashamed about. I know so many people that are just mired down by events of the past or with regret. And as long as you cling to those, um, those aspects of emotion, you're not going to have the energy, the strength to look forward to what you can accomplish. Okay, so um, let's clarify this strength card out here. And I'm getting that some of you could really want to start meditating along with Buddhist monks and try the, um, the OM sound, when like do an OM chanting or find a guided meditation where it has the OM sound if you're not comfortable making that sound yourself. So you might want to try that. Um, some of you might also want to start listening to a Schumann's resonance while you're sleeping because that'll con like connect you. Uh, it's very, I mean, it's the sound of the earth, right? It's the vibration of that uh, Gaia makes. So it's going to put your feet on the, on the ground in a way that you've never felt before. And you'll really start to be able to rise up as you come into this. And you know, this card that I'm clarifying out the strength card with, like just finding this new sense of purpose or having that that deep ability and the longing, actually a desire that might have left you for a little while. You could have been feeling like, what is this all for anyway? But the Queen of Pentacles is coming in here to revisit and touch you again and saying, okay, it's time to pick yourself back up. Let all the ghosts from the past, let them let them rest so that you can move forward, get back on the treadmill of your life and start looking ahead. And you do have a companion animal here. So um, you could have, that guardian angel could be represented in that companion animal. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of, there's a lot of you that probably have a companion animal or you're about to adopt one or you find a stray for some of you and bring them into your home and you'll find it changes the vibration and you need to kind of look at your companion animals a different way because they do have windows available to them because they're so pure that humans don't very interesting what i got there so the next card is um how can you manifest your goals and intentions <laughs> Oh my goodness. So check this card out here. Um, it's really impossible for me to tell which card this is. Just hold on for a second. I need to put on a brighter light so I can look at it. 
anyway so yeah this is the death card and it doesn't come up in this deck very often for me so there is you can see that this uh this is actually supposed to be a mother and and child in this card so there could be something in its infancy in your life that you just need to squash down um, in order for you to move ahead again you guys could be really I'm seeing there's a heaviness of things that existed in your past life that you would like to separate for yourself you might really want to do some sort of a declaration of sovereignty and you can just look that up online and repeat that you might really want to start you really have to detach from this energy. Death is a really good card when it comes to releasing things that no longer serve you. So in order to manifest the new, you have to get rid of things that no longer serve you, even though this is a totally creepy card. Totally creepy. Um, the picture looks a little bit rough, you know, so I'm just going to cover it right away. Uh, I don't like the image in that one. And some of the cards in the Deviant Moon Tarot card, they're totally, totally weird and disturbing. So, but anyway, um, we have the King of Wands here. So the King of Wands, he likes to follow his ideas because he knows they're going to go somewhere. And this means releasing old ideas. You know, what doesn't, has not worked for you, has has feeling guilty or useless or stupid, has any of that stuff served you no the king of fire knows this the king of wands and he moves forward he he catches on to new ideas from the universe and he's like oh i'm so grateful for this um i'm just gonna step away from this and open up a new door so in order to start manifesting your goals and your intentions let go what no longer serves you and you already know what that stuff is you know um I'm actually getting the advice for some of you that you might want to stop watching so much TV, especially the news, okay? Because that just, it makes people feel hopeless. I was having a conversation with my son um, not too long ago, and he was saying, you know, he's just getting so stressed out watching the news. And I'm like, well, shut it off. You know, it's not doing you any good. Like, there's some... Uh, there's a lot of media that is like the intention is to keep people in that fear state and worried, but there's a different energy available to you. And you can see that with the Empress, you know, catching new ideas. And again, with the King of Wands, catching new ideas, moving forward. So let's see what additional resources are available to you as you manifest your goals. And this is whatever your dream is. Like, where do you want to be? Where do you want to go you know, so let's have a look. Oh boy. So we have the seven of swords. So this is really just saying to me, and this is a completely different energy from this other gross seven of swords. I'm going to put them face down. I don't even want to look at them. So everything is already within you. And people don't understand that, you know, you're looking to outside resources maybe asking other people for help but nobody understands you better than yourself and you can see that this character here he is putting that sword within him and the swords represent your thoughts so turn your thoughts inward like what switches can you flip on within yourself to help you move forward and manifest your goals it's everything is within you and i don't think enough people give themselves the credit that they need and you know, your difficult path sets you up for what happens next. It is the foundation. It, it is that rung on the ladder that you can hook your feet onto to propel you upwards. So that's why it's really important to not have a negative connection to anything that you perceive as going wrong or a failure because it was an experience. And by assigning negative emotion or thoughts to it, you're sort of eradicating the purity of the experience and what is what it inf inflicts or the inflection on your karmic life and your karmic wisdom okay so we have the seven of pentacles here and this is just planting your garden taking care of yourself staying in your own lane looking within yourself this is a, a time for you guys and it's going to be coming into winter for a lot of people um 
this is going to be a really good time to shed things that no longer serve you. And I know I've said that a ton of times, but if you have trees and you're going into winter, you can look at how they are eliminating their leaves. They don't need those leaves anymore for this year, so they're shedding them. It's time for you guys to shed your leaves and look at what you can plant for the new year, for the new you, and go within yourself. Like, take this time to really look at how powerful you are, you guys. This is, um, this is time for you guys to really connect with the depth of who you are. And you've got multiple sevens in your reading. So this is angel number 777. And this is probably one of the most important messages coming out of this reading is these triple sevens. So go and look that up in a web browser. Angel number 777. Read that message and keep it close to you. Some of you might want to write it out or print it and hang it on the wall because it's going to be very important for what happens next. As you shed these old layers and kiss old antiquated ideas about your life and about what other people said about you, and how you feel about certain situations that make you uncomfortable, just get rid of it. It doesn't have any place in who you are and what you're doing right now in your life. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. So I hope the new moon is very like profitable for you on multiple levels. You know, the abundance of your life. So guys, peace. Bye. <laughs>